The Commission on Human Rights Filipino, Komisayan sa Karapatang Pantau, CHR, is an independent constitutional office created under the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines, with the primary function of investigating all forms of human rights violations involving civil and political rights in the Philippines. The Commission is composed of a chairperson and four members. Commissioners hold a term of office of seven years without reappointment. The Philippine Constitution requires that a majority of the Commission's members must be lawyers. As a national human rights institution, the Commission enjoys status A accreditation by the International Coordinating Committee of National Institutions for the Promotion and Protection of Human Rights. History after the ratification of the 1987 Philippine Constitution on 2 February 1987, which provides for the establishment of a Commission on Human Rights, President Corazon Aquino, signed Executive Order No. 163 on May 5, 1987, creating the Commission on Human Rights and abolished the Presidential Committee on Human Rights. The Commission was created as an independent office mandated to investigate complaints of human rights violations, promote the protection of, respect for and the enhancements of of the people's human rights including civil and political rights. Deterred administration On 24 July 2017 during his State of the Nation address SONA, Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte said that the commission was better abolished. The CHR responded in a statement that only a change to the 1987 constitution could possibly abolish it. On the evening of the 12th of September 2017, the House of Representatives of the Philippines voted 119 to 32 to give the CHR a budget of only 1000 pesos for the entire year of 2018, which if made law would effectively abolish the commission. The Commission had reportedly asked Congress for a budget of 623,380,000 pesos, and it condemned the vote. As of 13 September 2017, the budget had not been finalized and was still subject to further amendment before approval by the Senate of the Philippines and by the President. If the Senate rejects the proposed CHR budget, such action will trigger a bicameral committee made of members of both houses to resolve the dispute. Mandates and functions The Commission derives its mandates from the Constitution, relevant domestic laws, and the eight core international human rights instruments to which the Philippines is a state party, as well as other United Nations human rights conventions newly enforced. Under Section 18, Article 13 of the Philippine Constitution, the Commission's sole duty is to protect the civil and political rights of citizens in the Philippines. Based on the Philippine Constitution, the Commission has a broad mandate, which can be categorized into three major functional areas. Human rights protection, investigation and case management of complaints of violations, including all the powers and services in aid of investigation, of civil and political rights as well as economic, social, and cultural rights. Such powers and services include, citing for contempt for violations of its rules of procedure, legal aid and counseling, visitorial powers over jails and detention facilities, application of forensic techniques in aid of investigation, witness protection, and financial assistance to victims, Human rights promotion, which includes the wide range of strategies for policy, advocacy, promotion, social mobilization, education, training, public information, communication, research, networking and linkages. Human rights policy advisory derived from monitoring government's compliance with the treaty obligations that the Philippines has acceded to, International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights ICCPR, International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights ICESCR, Convention Against Torture and Other Degrading Treatment or Punishment CAT, Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women CEDA, Convention Against Racial Discrimination CERD, Convention on the Rights of the Child CRC, Convention on the Protection of Migrant Workers and Their Families CMW, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities CRPD. This also includes the entire aspect of monitoring and evaluating the performance of the executive, legislative, and judiciary to translate international human rights standards into national policies, laws, and practice, the Supreme Court of the Philippines, in Carino v. 
Commission on Human Rights, 204 SCRA 483, 1991, declared that the Commission did not possess the power of adjudication, and emphasized that its functions were primarily investigatory. The Commission on Human Rights had the following powers and functions investigate, on its own or on complaint by any party, all forms of human rights violations involving civil and political rights, adopt its operational guidelines and rules of procedure, and cite for contempt for violations thereof in accordance with the rules of court, provide appropriate legal measures for the protection of human rights of all persons within the Philippines, as well as Filipinos residing abroad, and provide for preventive measures and legal aid services to the under-privileged whose human rights have been violated or need protection. Exercise visitorial powers over jails, prisons, or detention facilities. Establish a continuing program of research, education, and information to enhance respect for the primacy of human rights. Recommend to Congress effective measures to promote human rights and to provide for compensation to victims of violations of human rights, or their families. Monitor the Philippine government's compliance with international treaty obligations on human rights. Grant immunity from prosecution to any person whose testimony or whose possession of documents or other evidence is necessary or convenient to determine the truth in any investigation conducted by it or under its authority. Request the assistance of any department, bureau, office, or agency in the performance of its functions. Appoint its officers and employees in accordance with law perform such other duties and functions as may be provided by law. Composition The chairperson and commissioners of the commission have fixed seven-year terms, with Gaskin serving as the commission's chairperson until May 5, 2022. Qualifications for CHR chairperson are as follows A natural-born citizen of the Philippines at least 35 years of age, and has not been a candidate for any elective position preceding their appointment. Controversies Tenure of Chairperson and Commissioners in a press briefing on July 27, 2017, presidential spokesperson Ernesto Abella claimed that the CHR chairperson and its commissioners serve at the pleasure of the president and that they may be replaced at the president's pleasure. This claim was based on the Executive Order No. 163A, issued during the presidency of Corazon Aquino in 1987, that amended the Section 2, sub-paragraph C of Executive Order No. 163, stating that the chairman and members of the Commission on Human Rights shall be appointed by the President. Their tenure in office shall be at the pleasure of the President. However, the said executive order was questioned in the Supreme Court in the case, Bautista v. Salonga, Gr. No. 86439 on April 13, 1989, leading to the declaration of the said executive order as unconstitutional. Taking a quote from the said Supreme Court ruling, Indeed, the court finds it extremely difficult to conceptualize how an office conceived and created by the Constitution to be independent as the Commission on Human Rights and vested with the delicate and vital functions of investigating violations of human rights, pinpointing responsibility and recommending sanctions as well as remedial measures therefore, can truly function with independence and effectiveness, when the tenure in office of its chairman and members is made dependent on the pleasure of the president. President. Executive Order No. 163A, being antithetical to the constitutional mandate of independence for the Commission on Human Rights has to be declared unconstitutional. CHR as a constitutional office under the Article 9 of the 1987 Constitution, three constitutional commissions were established namely, the Commission on Elections COMELEC, the Civil Service Commission CSC, and the Commission on Audit COA. The Commission on Human Rights CHR, on the other hand, was created under the Article 13, Section 17 of the 1987 Constitution and the Administrative Code of 1987. 
in a resolution of the Supreme Court contained in Gr. No. 155,336, it ruled that the CHR is a constitutional body enjoying limited fiscal autonomy. External links Commission on Human Rights of the Philippines – Official Website Retrieved 23 March 2008 References